partners. Now, what I'm going to focus on now is what do you do? You have someone who's depressed. And sometimes they've been diagnosed depressed before the autism. Detailed developmental history, going through what you were like at school, friendships and so on, confirms autism spectrum disorder. Now, we have the concept of alexithymia, an absence of words to describe thoughts and feelings. But I created my own term, Alexi persona. And that is a lack of vocabulary to describe personality characteristics is a feature of autism. Um, and this is where you ask the person, OK, who are you? I don't know you. Who are you? And the usual answer is, I don't know. And in adolescence, there's an existential angst of trying to decipher the meaning of life and who am I and where do I fit in, which means that the autistic individual goes deeper in terms of self-analysis, deeper, broader, and a more solitary, subjective approach. Now, one of the things that may help is to create a list of positive personality adjectives as prompts to describe personality qualities. Often in autism, can you name a personality quality you have? I don't know. I don't have a personality, etc. However, if you have a list of positive personality adjectives as an external visual prompt, please circle what positive qualities you have. You'll find, oh yeah, I am artistic. Uh, I'm very considerate and courageous. Oh yeah, for, uh, sure, generous to a fault. Oh yeah, I'm very persistent uh, and I'm very studious and I think I'm very wise. So they'll circle all this, but if you say, what personality qualities have you got? I don't know, but if you can see them, they can identify them. What we may then do is create a this is who I am book in terms of qualities in personality and abilities. This is an example. Some of the kindest people I know have autism. You're very caring. You're a very loyal friend. You're honest, forthright, perfectionist, determined, brave, great sense of humor. Your abilities in drawing and art and Lego models, your exceptional long term memory, talented in maths and noticing details others wouldn't notice. And an expert on Russian T-34 tanks or drain covers or Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> there are a variety of expertise and special interests that the person may have. Now, I know this is old fashioned, but I was born in the middle of the 20th century. And ring binders are very good because you have a ring binder or a computer program and each quality in personality or ability goes at the top of the page. And you record examples of that as a diary. So it's photographs of your Lego models. Lego models are good for adults, too. In fact, Lego is now very much into almost Ph.D. level engineering for some of the things you've got to construct copies of reports and grades that you've got, compliments from friends and family, or a good joke that you created, etc. So this becomes a way of recording who you are, but also as an antidote to low self-esteem that there are tangible, in other words, you can't think of it, but it's here, qualities you may have. But we also look at qualities of a hero in the family, uncle who's a Qantas pilot, or a character in films or TV like Doctor Who, very popular with autistic individuals. Doctor Who is also one of my favorites. This is my phone. For those with um, an interest in Doctor Who, you know what I have. So each admired quality of the hero, Doctor Who, brave in a car crisis, sonic screwdriver, knowledgeable, etc. Each admired quality of someone that you know in your family or you would like to be. What is that quality? Separate page and add entries that confirm progress towards the valued personality. And the book is an antidote to depression and builds positive self-image. Now, sometimes the best solutions for autism come from those who have autism. And this includes Maya Todeip. She has autism, lives in Denmark. I've known her for about 10 years or so. She's now a qualified clinical psychologist. Yes. 
And autistic individuals can make exceptionally talented psychologists because they've been studying people since they were three years old and noticing patterns and qualities in people that other people haven't identified. Now, she's prone to depression. Started when she was about seven years old, intense despair in situations. By her late teens, she was starting to feel, I'm going to do something about this. So she created the concept of an energy bank account. It's not unique, but she has developed it quite considerably. Um, Maya and I are actually writing a book on energy accounting. And the metaphor is an energy bank account. And throughout the day, think of your own life. You will have energy withdrawal, circumstances that drain you of energy and hopefully deposits through the day. But in autism, there's a lot of energy depletion, which leads to cyclical depression. So energy depletion is a major cause of depression for those with Asperger's um, ASD level one. So this is a, a cheat sheet and we have a big piece of paper and we say, OK, in your daily life, what drains you of energy? We try and get that to be, uh, shall we say, spontaneously suggested by the person or we use this list and extras. Socializing. Autistic individuals can socialize well, superbly, but for a short period of time, like Cinderella at the ball at midnight, two hours, that's it. Tomorrow, under the covers, in the cupboard, can't cope. I am gonna to be totally locked out of social contact. But for two hours, I did it. But nobody knows the amount of mental energy from intellectually processing rather than intuitively processing. Coping with too many changes, because when there's a change, you've got to reprogram your mind as to what am I going to do? What's a script? What's going to happen? And the risk of anxiety and sensory sensitivity. Making a mistake, sensory sensitivity drains you of energy. Daily living skills in executive functioning components. One of the major drains on energy is coping with anxiety, overanalyzing your social performance, sensitivity to people's moods, teased and excluded, just crowds, just lots of people. Uh, government agencies like NDIS, Disability <laughs> Support Pension, and I have to write reports for NDIS, things like that. And I think, why do I have to? Anyway, I'm sure you will have your own thoughts on NDIS reports. Um, body shape, for example, perceived injustice, uncertain people. For the psychologist tuned in, I describe this as psychological astronomy. Mm. There are people who are black holes. They just <laughs> suck out all your energy, nothing in return. Now, what are your deposits in autism? Solitude, very effective re-energizer, but it takes time. How often can you be alone? Special interest is the fastest energizer, has many functions. One is energy restoring. Physical activity. Many with autism feel physical activity. No, I'm poorly coordinated. People laugh when I run. I like computers and sedentary activities, but actually physical activity, very effective deposit. Animals and nature. Oh, yes. Computer games in moderation. Meditation, absolutely. Caring for others. Nutrition, talking to a lot of autistic adults. Get rid of junk food, just nutrition. It's not a special diet of uh, avoiding or consuming certain substances. Just get rid of junk food. Sleep, autistic individuals are notorious for poor sleep cycle. Can be things like reading Harry Potter books. Great. Uh, mental health vacation day, day off can't cope. Information on the internet, you seek information. You have a mind that must be fed knowledge and information on what you're interested in. Being with pets and certain people are the opposite of black holes, they're suns. They radiate energy. So in energy accounting, we have a currency, a numerical measure or value of how much an activity or experience is refreshing or draining. Socializing, may vary from zero to 100, 100 being absolutely energy depleting, 10 to 15, very little. So somebody may say, oh, socializing ranges from uh, 50 to 100, or crowds are 60 to 80. Um, being with my auntie, uh, she doesn't get autism, she's horrible, uh, 90 to 100, those sorts of things. Um, 
So you have variations. Now, we have a daily energy account form. We find autism with autism. We're pedantic. We have lists, external prompts. Now, we get the person to list those activities or experiences that are withdrawals and those that are deposits. Now, we use this. Here, it's for a daily energy account form. It doesn't have to be daily. It could be weekly, monthly, over a certain period of time. So we list all the things that drain you of energy over this period today or a week. OK, over this last week, what has it been for social, etc.? 40, 60, 90, 90, 80, 20, 40, 80. Total, say 360. OK, one have been the deposits in the same time. 20, 20, 40, 40, 20, 60. Total, 240. Oh, dear. You're going to cope for a while and then you're going to reach a tipping point and then dip into depression because there's no mental energy left. This is a new concept that's coming in to autism of burnout. 